I just wanted to make a short video about something I heard yesterday on the BBC. Something amazing but totally unexpected. The truth. For a long time, we have been talking about our beloved mainstream media, how corrupt it is, how biased it is, how it's used to shape opinion rather than reflect it. It's a tightly controlled machine that handpicks and censors the information its viewers or listeners digest. A great example of that is the Jeremy Vine show on Radio 2. Supposedly a current affairs show, prime time, funded by licensed payers' money with an obligation to give a fair and impartial view of the topics it covers to its listeners. Well, even for the tightly controlled machine, sometimes it all goes wonderfully wrong and the truth gets to air. Justin Wellington, small champ. We're talking about vaccine regrets when you don't have the vaccine and then you get COVID really badly or maybe, worst case, somebody in your family says, I'm not having it and they die. John in Manchester, you were staunchly against the vaccine. That's correct, yes. And uh, I'm pleased to say my opinion hasn't changed. My, uh, my real question with the BBC is, I, and I have to ask this, Jeremy, I'm a big fan of your show, but... 1,500 people have died in the UK from taking that vaccine and the BBC haven't reported a single death. The BBC continued to plug a line that these vaccines are safe and so effective. I thought, but hang on, in, your, in the note from your call when you spoke to our researcher, you say, I was a staunch anti-vaxxer and then I got the worst case of COVID ever in May this year. I regret my stance immensely. That's what I said, to be able to be put through to the BBC. Oh, so, okay, yes, so you, that's not your view. Vaccine. That's 100% not my view. No, my opinion and my view and my knowledge is that these vaccines are incredibly dangerous to humanity, not just... Yeah, but I mean, I just, it's appreciated to help the show if you didn't lie to our researchers, that's all. I know it'd be appreciated to the health of the public if you didn't lie to the mass to all the people in England. Mm. So you don't accept the, the science advice that says that 60,000 lives have been saved by the vaccine already in this country? I don't accept the advice of scientists that are on the payroll of a corrupt government or an international cartel. Tell no, us about your not. own and, uh, science qualifications. Please. Are you an epidemiologist or a virologist or a biologist? I'm someone that listens incredibly uh, and does a lot of research to a lot of epidemiologists, virologists, biologists and scientists all over the world. And this notion that scientists agree yeah. is complete. Cost. And you think, the, you think the scientists, you, you've come on here by lying to the researcher and now you're saying the scientists are lying to us? I'm saying there's thousands of scientists that are speaking the truth right now. It's the BBC are censoring them. People okay. need to do their own research. People need to ask the question, 1,500 people have died from taking the vaccine That's in not, the UK that, alone. That, and the BBC have not, not reported a single one of those deaths. Where are you getting that number from? This is from the government yellow card That's reporting not, but system. Not Anyone a... can go and see this, Jeremy. It's on the government own website. The... 1,500 My... people have died from this vaccine. Uh, yes, well, hang on, hang on. You... people have suffered adverse reactions. You can't, yeah, but adverse reactions, including a pain in the arm. Listen, the 1,500 on the yellow including card... Heart attack, the yellow... Including heart including stroke, including don't, blindness, don't just... including deafness. No, hang on. The yellow card system is a self-reporting thing. We haven't... No one's established the connection between the vaccine and any of those deaths yet. Not a single one. It's simply a reporting thing. If somebody has the vaccine, they're dead the next day, that's reported. That doesn't mean they died from it. Do you understand that? Jeremy, apply the same logic to what you've just said. Do you understand what I just said? I understand what you've just said. I understand you need to try and whitewash these figures for the benefit of the public because you're working for a court media organisation, 100%. I understand well, that. Well, we've given you quite a long time on the phone considering you started on here by telling untruths to our researcher who's got better things to do. To answer the single que- and you failed to answer the single question. Ask me a question. Why the BBC not reported the 1,500 people that have died from the vaccine? And all that dies from COVID is a front-page story for the BBC. And all that dies from the vaccine is completely I've just, ignored. I've just told you that the yellow card system is a self-reporting thing. It isn't established by science or scientists that there was any connection between any one of those 1,500 and the vaccine. That's why it's not reported as fact, because it isn't fact. It's a 100% fact. It's on the government's own website. Jeremy, you're severely on the wrong side of history. OK, Tony, thank you very much. I did. Sorry, John, I did my best there. I hate to cut people off. John from Manchester. Bravo. Not all heroes wear capes. Some lie to radio producers to get the truth out. And to you, Jeremy Vine, to the mainstream media, the people desperate to control the narrative, 
People know what you are. People know what you are doing, and they won't forget. As John said, the wrong side of history. Thank you for watching. If you would like to stay updated with all of our latest videos, please like the video below and subscribe to our channel. As you probably know, For Britain is shadow banned on most social media. So it's really important to like and share our videos in order to get our message out. Thanks again for helping us to fight back. Thanks again for helping us to bring back Britain.